All right, man, so we got another video from our boy Dan Allen Gaming, another story explained video, Relana Twin Moon Night Lore. I'm actually pretty excited about this great video. Found at the end of Castle NC's Relana. As soon as I found this, I was like, yeah, we got to do it. Of the Carrion family and sister to Renala, Queen of the Full Moon. Sorry about that, y'all. Renala was head of the Carrion Relina. family and leader of the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Whilst Renala charmed with her majestic magic and sorcery, Relana right. was a highly skilled swordsman, relentless and aggressive in combat. That's what Relana I like to hear. Also known as the Sword of Mesma. Sorry, y'all. Remembrance of the Twin Moon Knight states: Once a Carrion princess, Relana disavowed her birthright and chose to stand at Mesma's side instead. Oh, she traded well, places. Not even the brilliance of the moon could grant him succor. Oh wow! Before long, she became known as the Sword of Mesma. She became Relana a demon. Relana went all she knew and turned her back on the Carrion royal family to stand by Mesma's side. Relana did all this knowing full well that the moon couldn't soothe Mesma's inner serpent. Oh, but snap. But she still remained devoted to him. Oh, she stayed, hey, she stayed down loyal, bro. We all needed a, listen, we all needed Relana in our life, bro. She stayed down ten toes loyal, bro. Carrion Thrusting Shield states, once wielded by Relana, the Twin Moon Knight, during her sole entry into ritual combat, <coughs> a demonstration of fidelity to the Earth Tree. She was loyal. But was Relana, Twin Moon Knight, in love with Mesma? Well, you was in love with him, but not me? That's crazy. In the embrace of Mesma's flame. I mean, like a demon. The Rithal Knight Sword states, Moonrithal was the Twin Moon Knight's Chamberlain. She was also a friend of the Trolls who served the royal family and proudly wielded their weapons as she fought arm in arm with her gargantuan comrades. Oh, so snap. one of Rolana's most trusted allies was also a friend of the Trolls and fought alongside them in battle. Oh. In the Carrier Manor lies the Sword of Night and Flame. Astrologers who preceded the sorcerers established themselves in Wait, was that the God of War that sword that she uses? the sky and considered the fire giants their neighbors. The sword of night and flame served oh, it is. as a symbol of friendship between fire giants and carrions. The carrion family <coughs> had many working relationships with trolls, fire giants, and others. Bro, the way she just the has them is crazy, bro. Those swords. Whip woven from the flame red hair of a fire giant. Every giant is red of hair, and Radagon was said to have despised his own red locks. She using that braid as Perhaps a whip? that was a curse of their kind. If we piece the puzzle together, we can see that this wouldn't be the first time a Carrion family member pursued a red-headed demigod, as Rolana's sister, Renala, once loved Radagon, much like she loves Mesma. Oh. Further twisting this tale is that Mesma is likely to be the son of Radagon. What type of intertwined relationship am I look? What type of secret love fest am I just walking into right Rolana's now? Rolana's signature weapon, the Twin Blade, state. Uh oh. Weapon of Rolana, the Twin Moon Knight. Two swords as a single armament. When two handing, a straight sword engraved with golden flame will be carried in the left hand. Here and here alone. Were moon and fire ever together? Oh, bro. Did this represent Rolana and Mesma's unity with moon and fire embodied in this great sword? This, bro. Or was it a one sided affair? That's like the coolest looking like weapons. Those are like the coolest looking weapons in the game. I'm just being honest. Helm with you. states Renala, head of the royal family of Caria, who is said to have given her youngest sister, who renounced her lineage to chase after Mesma, a gift. Of lustrous black hair. So, despite Rolana leaving her family's legacy Is that Rapunzel? in the pursuit of this red headed demigod, Renala decides to gift her sister with this black hair. Is this okay. a symbol of their undying sisterly love? Well, Rolana's twin moon state sorcery of Rolana, the twin moon knight, associated with a carrion princess, incarnate overlapping twin moons which strike the ground one after the other. Yeah, Violently bro. Do big damage. Moonlight. In her childhood, she and her elder sister, Renala, met these moons. Big damage. Overlapping as they <clears throat> nestled against one another. 
Does this all but confirm that even though Renala may not have agreed with Rolana's decision, the love is still there between the two, with the moons nestled together, with the moons overlapping. Renala allowed Rolana to follow her heart and find love. Oh. Love that Renala never truly found. That's depressing. Hello. Hi. Whoa, whoa. What's that? What's that goal? Rolana's armor states, adorned with lapis lazuli blue, that is. Oh, that armor looks carry. crazy. Its radiance is yet to fully fade. This further confirming that a piece of Rolana still stands with the Carrion family, and it will never truly fade. I am with the swords. Shield. Yep. The wolf is the breast of the Carrion Royal Covenant. A symbol of the moon's pride that none can forget, no matter what remote lands they may arrive in. Bro, those moons, bro, are crazy, bro. Rolana was also an honorable leader herself, with many devoted followers. Rolana's cameo states engraved as oh, a she was TikTok of famous? parallel devotion of those who left their homelands to serve Rolana. By your leave, we will accompany you wherever. Your lunar vessel takes you. Oh snap, bro. She hey, she had real ones next to her, bro. Oh my. That combo was and as nasty. The tarnish make their way into the small but intricate castle NCs. They'll be challenged with powerful scholars of magic, uh -oh. deadly hounds. Uh -oh. And of course, the hell hounds of Mesma, the Impaler. The rail rounds. Oh, smoins. Smoins enters NC's moon gazing grounds. Rolana awaits. Uh-oh. And she waiting for you. And she waiting for you. Come here. Uh-oh. Now, hey, hey, bro, bro. In my opinion, bro, she has, like, some of the best-looking we- Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Rolana specializes in relentless sword strikes and magic attacks that require patience and timing to truly overcome. I mean, but like, bro, she's just like any other boss, bro. She has a pattern. Oh, oh, uh oh, uh oh. That's like God of War sword. This fight is like a dance. Yeah, she got a pattern with her, too. Hey, now, why? Hey, hey, wait, wait, she about to light those swords. What? She, hey, she about, to, she about to turn on the light. She about to turn on the light. Watch this. She better turn on the light. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's actually dodging it pretty well. Rolana has also perfected using uh -oh. magic and fire elements of her uh -oh. signature weapon. Uh -oh. Rolana's twin blades. The God of War sword. Yep, that's one shot. Drink the Kool-Aid. Bro, whoever designed those swords, bro, you deserve a $5 raise immediately. You deserve a five dollar raise immediately, bro. Whoever designed the sword, bro. Uh oh. Oh, drink As the Kool Aid. As defeat, she'll unleash her devastating twin moons attack. Uh oh. Rising into the Jump. air, she calls forth two moons. Jump. And crash into the ground, creating a devastating shock. Jump. Rate, and then one more. Which are then followed up with another brutal twin sword smash that the Tarnish must avoid to stay in the fight. Oh, she got those ambush swords. must be prepared and quick on their feet to defeat this once princess of the Carrion family. Nah, it's princess of death. That's what she is. Oh, the God of War sword. Oh, oh, whoa, be careful. Oh, right, yeah, one shot, one shot. Oh, right, yeah, drink the, yeah, drink the Kool-Aid. As the Tarnish triumphs, Rolana Twin Moon Knight. Dang. There's no more. Man, she fell down to her knees. What a long game. The long game. You know what? She put up a good fight, though. Shout out to Dan Allen Gaming, bro, for these lovely... Bro, I told y'all, bro, I wanted more of these lovely story explained, like, about these bosses at Elder Ring because, bro, like, I didn't even know that these bosses had, like, lore like that, bro. This man, Dan Allen Gaming, bro, he's doing his research, bro. He's bringing it back to, like, the 1800s, bro. Telling some bro, he's telling us about like their favorite meal and stuff. It's crazy. Uh, make sure you guys go check out Dan Allen Gaming. Link in the description down below. Make sure you guys go check them out. Uh, bro, pretty please, bro.
Man, it's absolutely amazing, man. Make sure you guys are, bro, bro. But also check me out, bro. Like the video, subscribe to the channel before you guys go head over to Dan Allen Gaming, bro. Bro, bro, subscribe to me. I mean, only if you want to. I'm not, I'm not. You know, uh, was I too, was I too forceful? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. See you guys later. Peace. I'm out. And.